we encourage at, at UPMC anyone who has end-stage renal disease and is on dialysis, anyone who has end-stage renal disease and is going to be on dialysis in the very near future, to come and actually visit with us and meet the team and discuss if they would be an appropriate candidate for renal transplant. And the comorbidities such as obesity and heart disease and things that generally people assume would rule them out for re receiving a transplant, we actually encourage them to come and take a look meet with us and we can actually go through that in detail because a lot of times people are surprised that despite having even correctable heart disease or even obesity that can be improved with a weight loss regimen would actually make great candidates for transplant. When a patient comes to see us at the Starzl Transplant Institute, they actually meet in the morning with the entire multidisciplinary team. This includes having a very detailed overview presentation given by the coordinators about the entire kidney transplant process. Then they'll individually meet with the surgeon, the transplant nephrologist, our social worker, our behavioral specialist, a nutritionist, a financial coordinator, and then finally their transplant coordinator who will actually guide them through the remainder of the process. After the evaluation clinic is completed, we'll actually gather all of their medical and social information, discuss each individual patient's history at the selection committee meeting, and then move them on for listing. One of the key parts of the transplant is to ensure that the patient does have a very adequate and regimented post-operative care plan. And here at UPMC we have several models where we will actually see them in the initial short term here at UPMC and then work in conjunction with their local nephrologist to ensure that their long-term care needs are met. At UPMC we have history in transplantation. We were one of the first centers to actually offer solid organ transplant. And as a result, we have a lot of experience not only doing complex transplants and high-risk transplants, but also successfully guiding the kidney transplant patient through the evaluation process, through the selection process, through waitlisting, and then successfully transplanting and taking care of them short-term and long-term after their surgery.